Hi, welcome to the new video. Today I'm doing a Crusader on the horse. As always, um, the colors are transparent, uh, opaque black and white, and the rest of the colors are transparent. And I'm using the Chroma Lux uh, paper, um, this time in the eggshell color. And I'm starting with the uh, second stencil. The first stencil is normally if you have a dark background you can lay down the first white, but I don't need it with the the eggshell color uh, background. So I'm starting with full black. And now I'm still using the black. Now comes the dark gray. So as you can see, the um, hand is missing on this Crusader. <coughs> so this is a set where um, there are um, extra stencils for a hand with a sword, a hand with a morning star, a hand with an axe, and the hand with a spear. And also there's an additional um, arrows that you can place on the shield, <coughs> so you can uh, create your unique uh, crusade on a horse. So this is um, <clears throat> the dark gray. You can make it darker if you like. Um, you can see it on the right side that I used this in the airbrush I used um, lighter colors but you can also make it darker. So now this is the light gray. And now I can add some colors. So this is um, a mix of red and um, orange tones. So I'm doing the cross in bright red. So the rest I'm doing with a light brown. So now comes the horse color, you can leave it in white. I'm doing a um, middle brown. So for this I'm laying down the light brown as first layer. Then I'm switching to purple and the light brown again. Light brown I'm mixing myself with 90% yellow and 10% uh, purple. And this is, for me, is the perfect way to do like dark brown tones. So with the final layer of the transparent light brown, you get like a darker brown there. If you want it even darker, you can repeat it, like um, use more purple, maybe a little bit of black. <clears throat> so this is now the stencil where I use dark blue for the metal parts. And for the rest I'm using the uh, light brown again.
this is now um, I bent the air hose so I work with reduced air so they can do the little spots which I will be doing later on with the uh, blood too. So this is now the um, stencil where you can put color to the uh, the cloth on the on the horse and on the crusader. For this now I'm using just a little bit of black Uh, a little bit of white, sorry, <coughs> to to go over this. So I have like the uh, <coughs> white crusader with the red cross. I'm adding some shadows. This now is the uh, final white. And I'm using the full white on the um, metal parts and uh, the, the eye of the horse and the hoofs. <coughs> and the rest I'm doing a uh, less opaque thing. And that's it the, with the Crusader. Now I'm doing a, a little bit of a background. You can also use a combination of the other Crusaders that I have, or the uh, small army that you can put in the background. And you can change the appearance with the um, with the different weapons that you can put in there. So for the quick horizon, I just tore a paper. So you have one part for the, the dark, and you can use the other one to do the uh, horizon highlight. Now I'm doing this again with really low pressure that I achieve by bending the hose and um, so nearly no air comes through and then I'm just moving uh, the pushed button rapidly from and back. Uh, this you can also do with the um, before you use the white with the applied uh, cover stencil. But so now that you have the effect of um, that some dust is it's moving there. And now comes um, the weapon of choice. I'm doing the uh, spear as you can see um, all the the hand and, and weapons are the same uh, working method. I'm using at first a full black. As I said, you have like a salt and axe and morning star and the spear and also some arrows for uh, that you can put on the shield. And the second step is a gray. So I'm using the white and I'm just going over there a little bit. In this stage you can also put like a brown on the, um, the shaft of the spear. 
I'm just leaving this now in black and white. And the final step is a full white. And um, there you have it. So at the end I'm doing some highlights and some breath on the horse and, and then I'm doing the little dots again in white. So you have like some texture on this and you also can use this method on on red so you have like blood splatter there and I'm also doing this on the spear. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can uh, subscribe my channel for more videos.